UT Southwestern Medical Center, they released their latest coronavirus numbers earlier today in a model. And as Aaron Jones will tell us now, it is the highly contagious Delta variant that is driving the surge. As society in many ways returns back to normal, in North Texas, COVID-19 hospitalizations are way up. Hospitalizations in North Texas due to COVID-19 have increased by 89% over the past two weeks and by over 150% compared to one month prior. New data from UT Southwestern shows the Delta variant is accounting for the majority of these cases, which the vaccine appears to be highly effective against. Only about 0.5% of the total COVID-19 cases reported in Dallas County, a total of 1,338 cases, are considered breakthrough infections, meaning that they've occurred in someone who was fully vaccinated. More importantly, only 8% or only 105 individuals who had these breakthrough infections required hospitalization. Now new predictions from UT Southwestern show by October, if current patterns persist, we could be back to where we were at the height of the pandemic. Health officials say by doubling the current pace of vaccinations, we could potentially cut hospitalizations in half. Stephen Love, DFW Hospital Council President and CEO, says right now there's still a good supply of ICU beds in North Texas, around 120. Over 20 percent of the patients in ICU have COVID, which tells you the acuity level is tending to be much more severe with this Delta variant. He stresses the more it spreads, the more it has the chance to mutate. You know, you could end up eventually getting a virus that's mutated that may not be resistant to the vaccines. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. And you heard it a thousand times. Doctors can't stress enough. The only way they say to stop this surge is for people to either change their behavior, go back to distancing and wearing masks, or for more people to get vaccinated. Even those who have had COVID and think that they are immune might want to consider getting a vaccine now. Unfortunately, what we're seeing is that for some of these new variants, natural immunity following infection may not be as adequately protected. And so the vaccines can help boost your immune protection even if you've already had COVID. And messaging is a big deal. Republican lawmakers are stepping up their messaging, telling vaccine holdouts they should go get a shot. That does include Texas Senator John Cornyn posted this on Twitter today saying, quote, study after study shows that two doses of an mRNA vaccine remain very effective at preventing infection from the Delta variant and symptomatic illness or hospitalization even more so.